here in today's uh, lecture it is four fifty-two. i want to uh, create a lecture today's lecture is today's date 09 21st and i would like to reuse the images from lab 02 i have image one and image two uh can you see come back to today's date paste here because they have 500 megabytes to read or gigabytes uh, and need some time to copy to cop them here. Uh, the first one I would like to use the GUI version gported to create a file system on image one. Then I will use a command line to create a file system on image two. I cd to this uh, folder you see my image one actually we can run image one right here we don't need to uh, mount onto a loop device sudo gpodit why we need to mount it on loop device because that uh, wx hex editor we will be able to recognize them as storage device then they will show block boundaries, sector boundaries for us. Otherwise, WX hex editor will not be able to show those boundaries. So here, Suroji ported the, we use on image one. Okay, now you see uh, what is the stuff, right? I want to uh, format these uh, partitions. You see this uh, file system. Actually, I want to uh, delete one of them, then cre create two partitions. I want to delete this one. The first one, when it becomes uh, unallocated, I would like to new a small partition just with uh, two megabytes for FAT, uh, FAT uh, 12. But here you didn't see FAT 12 here. Yeah, we have only FAT 16, FAT 30, 32. We don't see a uh, FAT here, FAT 12, or simply a FAT. So if so, we would like to uh, specify, say the file system is not specified and formatted. And we call it FAT 12. Now you see this is a tiny ball here is a FAT 12. Label as FAT 12, but it's unformatted. Now for this one, I allocate a new partition. Now it's impossible to create more than four primary partitions. I have, have trouble here. So what could I do? There is this one, recover it as a FAT 16. Now you see the limitation about uh, this MBR partition scheme, right? So we we'll type FAT 16, add here, which means we just recover it. Actually, we can click this recover, undo last operation. Undo then. Now we can come to here, FAT 16. This has only a 15 megabytes. I would like to, uh, let's see whether we can resize it. Drag job, no. So we cannot resize it, then we, we delete this one. And allocate uh, just two megabytes for my uh, unformatted file system. We create a, uh, Okay, sorry about this interruption. Uh, we create a fat tail, the two megabytes. They have a fat tail, then the other one we let it to be a fat 16. Through this way, we have fat tail, fat 16, and fat 32. Fat. 16. Now you see we have a uh, FAT 12, FAT 16, 
Now I want to format this uh, file system. Format to what file system? Here you see that file 16. Actually, currently we just uh, cre create the ID, the file system ID inside our partition table. We don't have complete file system yet. That's why when you are you were doing your lab too, you go to those uh, partitions or so these uh, partitions, you will see all zero. You didn't see anything else because this name, this the only the partition, the file system type, the only set in the partition table, which means our partition is not uh, formatted yet. File systems are not created yet. This uh, format process is to create the file system on that partition. So the first one, file 16, I formatted to file 16. So some hackers or criminals, they format a partition into, for example, file 32, but in that partition table, it changes its uh, type to some other types, for example, Linux web, then we will not be able to access it. So let's format to, uh, just as the type we specified. This is a FAT16, this FAT32, uh, and this is uh, format. Uh, now you see those uh, exclamation mark is gone. Here you check this exclamation mark, it means there is no file system created yet. If I specify this as NTFS, you see that uh, exclamation mark is gone. Here, FAT32, uh, I, I still here have a FAT16, I format to a FAT16, this one to FAT32, this one Linux Swap, format to a Linux Swap, ext4, format to ext4. So now you see all those exclamation mark are gone. Then we can uh, create this file system, but we still have a file 12. We didn't format it. How could we format this one? It looks like uh, it's, this is a gport that does not support that file 12 to create on this partition. One reason is uh, during the old days, this file 12 is only support 1.44 megabytes of disk space, uh, disk, uh, uh, disk, those disks are called floppy as we discussed before. And let's see whether we can format it into FAT12 using command line. But currently, uh, let's just uh, uh, leave it there. Now, we can click apply all operations to apply these uh, formattings. Before that, I still want to uh, show you. We open a tab to show you MMLS. Uh, image one, right? Here, image one, for example, the first uh, partition here, FAT16, it does start at uh, 2048, this partition, at 2048. When we go to 2048, do we have data over there? How could we see it? We use, uh, if we use, uh, WX hex editor actually because it's not mounted yet we we, we we will not be able to see block by block let's have a try uh, WX hex editor in order to run your WX hex editor everywhere it's better to copy your WX hex editor to this uh, user local bin you copied here use a local bin is usually save the program you installed instead of installed by the system. For example, this B viewer, we installed the, in lab one, actually is installed here. So we just only need to copy that file and, and copy it to this place. Then we can run WX hex editor from anywhere because this uh, path, this folder, or this directory is inside our pass uh, environment uh, variable. I think uh, this is 452. All the students have learned uh, 
at the age of 372, so you know what does a pass mean. So we use sudo uh, copy the wx uh, hex editor. I think I have it in my uh, lab 02 wx hex editor. We copy it to a user local then type the password. Now I can run this wx hex at anywhere without specify its absolute location. Just type wx hex at you will see it. I want to work on this image one. Again, I don't want to show any uh, errors. It's okay, you just press enter, you, you will see some error images show up in that command line window. Here, right, you will see some error messages. Now, if we want to go to the, now you see, you can only see offset. You didn't see blocks, I right click this uh, panel, offset panel. We only see this, uh, this is octo, octo numerical system, decimal hex, but I didn't see blocks, so it's hard for us to find it. But we have a way. How do we find it? We want to know uh, its location is from this uh, sector, right? From this sector, each sector is uh, 502 bytes. But we only need to time 512 to this number, then we get the bad offset, which means the unit is bad. And we also switch it to a decimal number system. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now I want to open another tab. So I can use IPython to do the calculation. I pass on three. Oops, I need to uh, conda activate my conda my Python environment. Okay, now I want to uh, do that calculation two zero four eight times five one two. So this is a bad location or index to that uh, first partition. Here, now this time I need to jump, go to the offset. Here we just use offset. Now you, you, you have only one option, offset. You don't have that uh, uh, sectors. So I paste this one here. And from the beginning, go. So uh, we come here, you see they are all zero, right? They are all zero because uh, we didn't create that file system yet. We didn't apply those operations yet. So this uh, status, it looks like before we apply the formatting operations. Now let's apply those uh, operations here, apply. I have an error applying these operations. It says, uh, see the details to find the error. So what's the error? Here is this uh, FAT16, it has an error. It cannot create this uh, fat, fat 16. And what the reason? Unable to open no such file directory. So it looks like uh, that partition fat 16. Uh, if we put a fat 12, some problems uh, happened. It's not because we put a fat 12. So what the problem we have over there. This P9, FAT16. So let's uh, save the details and check it later. I saved it inside here. Yes, the today's state operations. Okay, and, uh, okay when we check this, uh, image we just uh, formatted, let's have a look what's the problem. Why the, we have that error, let's check that error, what it is. Now you see, we still come back with this uh, 
red exclamation marks. So come here to check uh, the report. Here's the partition, but there are one partition. Uh, So I actually uh, divided one, right? I divided this fat 16 in this extended position into two partitions. But here it still show me just uh, one. It looks like a fat tail is not uh, created. So when we check this stuff, delete uh, this logic partition, this fat 16, I delete that one. And you can see it's start where it's from start. It's start from here. Is exactly right. It's this one. Start there and there. Delete succeed. Create a logic partition and format it. This one succeed. Now, when I want to create uh, this one, I get an error. It cannot be created. So what the error? It uh, create the old file system in this place. Succeed. Success, success. We get this error. Unable to open no such file or directory, image 1p9. And for other partitions, it looks like uh, all succeeded. So, all this one, when I delete it and I divide it in, into two partitions, and I want to format as one as a fat tail, but I just chose unformatted. Now this one, it says uh, no such file directory. So what the problem? Anyone has ideas? Actually, we can use command line to check. To help check, we use a MMLS. Uh, Image one. Now we can check these uh, partitions. Go to that extended uh, partition. In that extended partition, I want to create I want to create uh, here now it's not easy to see it. Huh? Number one for file two, three, the water uh, was, uh, looks a little bit chaotic. So maybe it's better use our GPOT to have a look. But here you see the story number from this place. I have uh, 4472, but for that one megabyte, one megabyte is a, uh, it looks like it's not uh, created uh, successfully. Because one megabyte is uh, two megabytes. Two megabytes, how many sectors do we have? Actually, we can calculate two megabytes. Two megabytes is, uh, is 2048 kilobytes. This is uh, two megabytes. Now we have so many kilobytes. And we want to divide by the sector size. The sector is just a 0 0.5 kilobytes. A sector is a, a sector is a 500 kilobytes, which means it's just a half kilobyte. We will get a 4096 the size for that are two megabytes. But when you check here, we didn't see uh, that one. We can check how many do we have. We have one, two, three, four. We still only have four extended partition, which means that one is not succeeded. We can use, uh, use that uh, GPOT to check it.
So you see in the partition table is there, but the format uh, failed. And the partition table is there over here. So we still have all this partition table. But this one it says just uh, unknown, P8, P9. Okay, they, they are there. Then we want to create a file system with command line to see whether we can succeed. But before that, I would like to check this FAT16. Because now we want to format it into FAT16. It should have some data over there. Right? It should have some data over there. We use the WX hex editor to see those data. I also need to copy this FAT offset. Go to offset. It's still from beginning. Go. Go to there. Nothing is here. Nothing is created. So because of when I go to that one, is the old one. The old one actually. Uh, did I? No, it's not that old one. We want to go to this one. This first line. We didn't ch change it. But this fat. 16 file system, it looks like it's not created because here you see there are all zeros, right? There are all zeros here. The offset, uh, offset maybe I make a mistake about the offset. This offset you see uh, here, this one is a decimal number, but when you check this one, decimal number is, is not that one. So we need to do it again. Go to offset. This one, oops, I choose hex. So my bad, I need to specify a decimal from the beginning. Go that place. Here, now you see this uh, uh, FAT16, E FAT16. This uh, file system is already created. And you see some contents are put inside. This is not a bootable disk. Uh, please insert a bootable floppy and so on. Then you see uh, the data information in this uh, FAT file system. Most of them are still uh, filled with zero. This code is uh, easy for us to do analysis. Now that one is uh, FAT16. Now, how do we... Uh, now again, we, we want to mount these uh, partitions onto loop device separately instead of mount this uh, whole image. It's okay for us to mount this whole image. Let's have, have a try if we mount the whole image, what could we get? So we use sudo no setup dash dash find image one. Has what now? Uh, I want to list uh, set up to see what it is. Is uh, on this uh, loop six? Okay, five hundred two bytes for each sector. Now I want to use a double X hat. Text editor to access the whole image. Now this time I need a sudo wx hex editor to access the device, the loop device. DV loop six. I want to run in the background. And I show no errors. Actually, we direct all those errors to this null device, which means don't sh show those stuff. And uh, one in this uh, background. Some students, if you just type this one, you will not see it because maybe you still need to type the uh, password. Why I don't need to type password here? Because I just type this password right uh, after this uh, command. So that password we are left uh, maybe for, for one minute after that. I don't know how, how long. If you type this again, you, you still need to supply password. So you 
you would better remove that uh, background. Just run it like this. Now this time, we you see we will be able to see the sectors, right? Here now we we are able to see the sectors. And that uh, dots that fat sixteen is at a location. Uh, uh, not search. I want to go to that place. Go to offset. This time I use a sector, and the sector is two zero four eight, and it's uh, that's my number is from the beginning. I go there, you will see this fat sixteen. This fat fat sixteen file system, and you also see here. You we don't have the. It's not filled with anything. Just uh, empty, but we have a file system now. This way, we still are not able to uh, access each partition. Here, this with this uh, loop. If we type LSD, we loop six. Type a star. We only have a loop six. We we are not able to access each partition. There is a one a way we need to mount. Each partition onto these uh, loop devices. So before that, we would like to detach, low setup, detach this uh, image one from loop six, and uh, I have a reference here. You can refer it. To see how how do we mount each partition onto the loop devices? Here I have uh, some tips. Here put it here. Linux file system, Windows file system, compression. Okay, I didn't put it uh, put it at this place. Here's tips. These tips are for the encrypted disks. Here I have tips creating partition the virtual disk image. How to rename partitions? And these are creating file system. Go to this place. Creating partition of virtual disk images. Okay, this is the one. You can see uh, how do we use this uh, low setup to mount uh, each uh, partition. Partition the image through F disk. You use F disk to partition that image. Then how do we mount it? We mount it like this. Here we mount each partition. We specify the offset of that partition and the size of that partition. All of them are in byte, so you need to first convert to byte to find that byte offset and byte size limit. Then you mount, mount that partition. We also can use a dd command to copy that uh, partition. So we have two ways. I will show you these two ways. The DD partition way, we want to just uh, copy that partition here. Let's take this one as an example. You can use any one as an example because we know it's a start uh, sector number and the end sector number. And also we know it's length, right? Here, let's uh, take this one, the first one as an example. We use DD command, the input, input file. This is uh, image one. Now the output file, OF equals, this OF I would like to name it, uh, clearly, which means it's from image one, so I use uh, uh, I1, and let's use a computer name, image one. And the which partition, here is the first partition, even though it's a number here is a two, right? We know this one is the first partition. We have a primary table, then we come to this first partition. 
here is this one. We type P1. So here may be a little bit confusing. These numbers, you see it just uh, represent each meaningful regions. Primary table zero is unallocated one, then the first uh, partition is two, then to the second partition is uh, three, and so on. So it includes all those, it numbered all those unallocated regions. So we will just specify it as uh, partition one because we know them from these uh, identifiers and also from G, G part P1, partition one. We need to specify the block size, how many to one to one for each uh, sector or block. In this command is a file hundred tail and the count number how many you want to uh, to copy is this size. This is the number of sectors for this partition. So we copy this number, paste it here. Now we also need to skip, skip so many uh, sectors. So skip, how many sectors do we need to skip? Because it's a count from zero, so we need to skip to zero for eight. Uh, sectors so now you see you we use this start this start is actually the number of the sectors before before this uh dos partition because we count from zero so we skip four zero uh, two zero four eight two zero four eight sectors then we will get this dos partition so we press enter uh, oops, uh, this that skip we need to, uh, it does not recognize this skip. So the reason is uh, we usually we need to put these uh, options just after this uh, DD command. Let's put just an F this DD command. Okay, I don't think uh, that's the way. Maybe that skip, I make a mistake. We can check what that skip means. We use DD dash dash help. So we check this uh, command. Here you see we skip equals and uh, the count equals bs equals actually for all those stuff i didn't supply an equal sign there's a problem right for this skip i didn't supply an equal sign here skip equals so many count equals so many and so on. press enter now you see a uh, 100 zero file megabytes is copied here so many bytes is copied we can convert this one to the number of sectors, or we just convert this time this one with the two uh, with the file hundred tail to see whether we can get this number. Copy this number, this sector number. Paste here with times file one two, then we get this uh, number in bytes, in unit bytes. Here we compare with this one. You see, it's exactly this one, right? So many bytes are copied. So I copied that partition. Now, actually, we can use a uh, use slow skid commands. So slow skid commands to check file system. Here, which one is used to check the file system? We can check the main page, come to the slow skit, then come to this JSK uh, tool overview, file system layer tools. 
we have a file. This is the one file system layer. Just one command fs state. It will show the file system details and the statistics, including layout sizes and the labels. So we can use that fs file system state. Stay on this uh, partition one. So you see our partition one file system is FAT16. Our EM name is created with this command. Volume ID, boot sector, we have a boot sector, root directory, file 16, file 16, file system, label is FAT16. I set that label in gparted, right? And the sectors before file system is zero because we just copied this partition. We extract this partition out. So we don't have any sectors before this file system. Then we have uh, this. You can see the information about this file system. It ranges from sector zero to this sector. This, because we extracted them out of from that image, that's why we start from zero now. Put sector is zero, fat table, zero, fat table zero is inside this. Uh, now we want to know these are sectors uh, or clusters here. Sector size is 500 tail. Cluster size is, is 2048 bytes, they're units or bytes, which means the cl one cluster equals four sectors. So we will learn the FAT file system to understand these uh, parameters data area, root directory, cluster, area, and so on. Before that, I would like to use this uh, FS stat. Apply it on our image one to see what those are file systems, right? It cannot determine this uh, file system image one. So we need to, it, it's not able to determine like this. FS state help to see how could we show it. Here we display type only. Image type, we have the image type is a door. We also need to specify image offset and uh, device sector size. Now this offset is in bytes or in sectors here. Then we can specify that partition, FS state. We want to show everything, so we use a verbose output. And uh, the fs-f, fs type, the file system type, we can use a dash f list to see it. Maybe it's a good idea to see it first. So dash f list, and also we use a dash i list. We already uh, did this one before. We know there is a raw format. This poor container. Poor container is, it means some uh, other forensic uh, image format. Here, this fat, you see we have a fat 12, fat 16. If we don't specify, just specify fat, it will detect them automatically. So we can specify this uh, fat 16. So fs state v dash v dash f is a uh, FAT16 dash I, the image uh, type is a door, and a dash B, the sector size is a 512 byte. Dash O is offset. This offset is uh, in uh, sectors. We know it's the uh, offset in sectors is 2048 in that image, in this image. Right? We just see it uh, here in this image 2048. We want to show this. Uh, first partition. For other partitions, you can use the same, same idea, just change this uh, offset and the file type, file system type. Then we need to specify uh, the image. So the image is image one. So you see, I get the same output, but I have some uh, invalid uh, stuff. Oops, I cannot see all of them. When you check this part, file system information, 
right? The file system information, this one is exactly looks the same when we work on that partition, we extract it. So what are other informations? What are these informations? We can use um, more to show them screen by screen. So you will see the first show up the file system, all this stuff looks good. Those are problem because you want to show the fat contents. We can oops, it just uh, went uh, right away because I I need to press uh, I press uh, enter. Oh, press enter it just uh, run away, so I cannot check the head part. So we can change our command, use this less. With less, we can go back and forth, or we can save it in a text file to see it. Okay, with this less, now I can, oops, it's already come to this end. So you see it uh, just shows this one. I don't know where those, uh, those stuff come comes out. So just, I don't know where this stuff uh, comes out from the image zero, relative to offset and so on. How could we find it? We can use some uh, redirection to save it. Save it to say uh, this uh, image 1p1 report, dot report, just dot web report. So actually these are error output. So these are error output. So that's why we didn't see it. If you check this image report, you will see those error output, they are not saved. Those students from IDS 372, you know how to redirect these errors. When we check this image one, p report, you will only see this, this output right here. You only see this output. Those others are errors, those invalid stuff, they are errors. Actually, I can show you how to redirect those errors. Errors, uh, they are in, in uh, we can redirect uh, to, we know standard uh, input is zero, standard output is one, standard error is two. So we can uh, redirect two, two error. I forgot the syntax. Okay, it looks like the syntax is good. Now we check that uh, error. You can use a cat, that error. Now you see all this stuff. This is the error output from that uh, command. So we can check this error with a plumber. Error, you see, the image you try to open it, image one not found. This is quite weird, we image one is already found, otherwise how could we get that file system output? So now you see this tool, the, there are some problem with this tool. They want to volunteer maybe to improve this slow skate as it's open source. You are encouraged to improve this uh, tool set if you know how to do C programming. Anyway, we we already know we can get the same output as we use FS state on that uh, extracted partition, right? So this is how do we uh, find the file system on each partition? But I still have one. Problem. I didn't uh, format that fat trail. How could we do that? That is one way we use this uh, one to mount that partition. To mount that partition onto a, a loop device. First, I need to find that partition. So I need a mm ls image one to find that partition. As we discussed, uh, it's uh, after that 
is inside that extended partition, that unallocated part. That unallocated part also we have one uh, here. Right, this uh, table one, this table one is, here we have uh, unallocated uh, 2048. And this one is that, uh, dos, here dos 16. So here is a little bit confusing with these numbers. With that GPODIDAS, we need to identify which one is the one we did not format, but we just specify uh, as a flat 12. So we can use that uh, F disk, F disk to work on this image one. M for help, print for print that information here. In this, uh, we print it out. We see the first three partitions in the primary, uh, those first three primary partitions, then this extended uh, partition, it contains some logical partitions. Here, these logical partitions, we have uh, three Linux, one FAT16, one FAT12. So this, here we have, how many we have? We have four, a file right now, right? We have file which means, and when you check the size here, 50, 50, 45, 2, 47. These are the two, when I delete that partition and uh, divide that partition again, it's added at the end of, of that link list, that extended uh, master boot record, uh, extended boot record list. These two partitions are added at the end of the that link list. So now we see where it is. This one is that two uh, megabytes partition I didn't assign, but it's uh, assigned a default ID, 83. And this one is uh, that uh, when we try to format, we failed. So now we can format this one into partition 16 and format that one into FAT12. Uh, Let's see whether we can do with this command line. If we cannot, we, we will resort to this method. So now let's uh, do it. We want to do format, right? Try to help, how do we format? If we want to do format, there's an MBR. So before that, I would like to uh, change partition type here. Change a partition type T. I want to change this uh, two megabytes to a FAT12. So I want to change this one. And it's a partition eight. Here now you see this word is quite clear, one to nine. So I want to change it type, we use T. Uh, which one I want to change is a uh, partition eight. Partition eight, but I, I don't know the number yet. Partition eight. Now, there's a code. I need a list to list out fat, fat tail. What's the code for fat tail? Code for fat tail. Check this uh, list. Here, fat 16, fat tail is this one. Is a hex code is just one. Fat tail is a hex code is just one. So I can specify the code, just type one. Change it, just type to fat tail. That's good. And uh, now I can use P to print it out again. You see this one is changed to fat tail. And this one is fat 16 I created. Now, you see command line is more powerful than uh, GUI because uh, behind the, behind under the hood, you see that GPOTED when we check that output, they actually resort to commands to do all the operations.
Okay, now we have this uh, particular fat trail, right? We want to format it, this one. How do we format? So we resort to help how to format. Here we we want to check the format. Misc print change display unit texture. Load dump layout sale. Create empty partition table. I didn't see the format yet. So F disk is only used for partition. No format here. Right? We didn't see partition here. So we write our modification to that tab. So it's a uh, it's written to that partition. Now we can use GPort to have a look. Gpot the image one. No, it uh, cannot state device image one, no such file directory. Cancel it, uh, I need to specify. Uh, and the local directory, otherwise you don't try to look those devices. That has to do. Have the password. It cannot state this device image one no such file directly. Why it cannot find it? It's not here. Image one is here. But why that none that G part cannot open my my image one yet. So the check this command, sudo gpot it, image one, oh, whoops, my bad, I make a typo, image one. You see my typo, I type I-A-M-G-E-1. Okay, now we, we can check that uh, interesting file system, so this file system here. It just say unknown, oh, it's not a document one. You can see this partition number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But that location is here. But logically, physically, is that location is here, these two new partitions. But logically, in that partition table, as you see, it's put in at the end of that EBR link list. Okay, now we have this. Uh, it looks good, but it cannot be recognized by this. Uh, but this is reported also that FAT16 is also not uh, recognized. Now, how do we format? How do we format them? We need to resort to this technique. First, we need to mount those two partitions to a loop device, then we can format that loop device. So again, we need to find uh, MMLS image one. We want to find all their offsets. This time, let's see whether we find that fat uh, trail here. We see that fat trail. It put it in physical order, not the logical order in this MMLS, just like GPOD in physical order, not the logical order. So I have this fat tail. We know after that fat tail, is our uh, file 16. So these two uh, partitions, I want to format them. In GPOT, we failed uh, formatting this file 16, right? Okay, now we know the start sector and uh, end sector. Then we can use this. Uh, again, we need to calculate to convert them into bytes. Let's do the first one. And this is a fat 16. Uh, I suggest you do, do it by yourself because the message is the same. First, to find the start offset in sector convert into bytes times 512. So this is the offset. Copy it. The offset in bat. So I use sudo low setup dash offset. Put it here. 
because I want to mount it, so I need the dash dash find. I would like to put a dash dash find at the end. First, next is a, a dash dash size limit. The size size for this uh, flat trail is this one, right? There's a size number of sectors. Again, we need to convert into bytes times file one two. Then I get number of bytes. Copy it. Come back here. Paste here. There we use a. Uh, DV loop. Now I want to find a loop. Here is loop loop seven is available to us, so we can use a loop seven, right? Maybe uh, uh it's okay, let's do use uh, uh, maybe loop one one means image one uh, and uh and this partition is uh we know it's partition here. Is partition uh, eight, so we use eighteen. We can use eighteen to represent this one means image one eight means uh, that partition eight. This makes it more readable. We don't need a dash dash find because we specify the root uh, the loop device. Then followed by our image one. Press enter. Password. Okay, now we have that uh, loop device. That loop device is uh, just like a normal disk device. You can use ls dash l dev loop 18. So you see uh, it's a loop. It presented to us as a disk, present to the open system as a, this B means block, block de device, because we need to read it right in blocks. Now, we can use this command, make file system, mkfs. We want to make a flat file system. Actually, you press tab, you will see all those uh, mkfs commands. I press tab key, you can see we have mkfs, dot bfs, ext2, ext3, ext4, fat, ms, dos, ntfs, vfat. Actually, this fat and uh, we fat MS DOS they are similar. You can uh, check the help. Now I want to find the help with a manual mkfs dot fat to see how do I format that one into fat system. Here, create a MS DOS file system under Linux. How do I specify that a fat a tail? How here the synopsis used like this mkfs dot fat follow some option followed by the device and followed by the uh, block count we don't specify that block count because we want to format the whole uh, loop device how do we specify uh, fat uh, 12 here we use this dash upcase a then followed by uh, a number let's see here you can see this uh, how do we specify this number this is a Terry, a Terry variation, not this one. We want to check which one is the fat size here. Fat size, 12, 16, 32. And the next class we will learn what does fat size mean. File means file allocation table. The size is that the, the size of that table. And we will learn the next class today. I just show you how to format into fat tail. And others you can format to fat 16, fat 32. Do it uh, by yourself. Here I just need to specify this dash upcase F followed by tail. Right? I do it, uh, I think I, uh, I worked here. No, worked here. Type Q, quit this one. So I need to uh, mkfs.fat specify. The size of fat table is 12, then followed by this DV loop 18. Uh, we need sudo to the to do the format. It's completed. It didn't show me anything else. Maybe we use a dash v 
to show something. I use a dashboard it will show me has so many headers, so, so many sectors. No hidden se sector, hidden sectors, logical sector size. Now you see the logical sector size is a 512 bytes. What's the logical, what's logical sector size? And we will learn next class. And the uh, file system has two 12 bit files, file allocation table, four sectors per cluster. So each cluster, it contains four sectors. And it contains this root directory, it contains so many slots and use 32 uh, sectors, volume ID, no volume label. So this is uh, that uh, fat trail. If we use WX hex editor to have a look on this uh, device, uh, loop 18, we need a sudo to show it. Here you see uh, this uh, fat tail here, fat tail. You also see something. This is not a bootable disk. Please insert a bootable floppy and so on. Now you see some data in this block. The block zero, block one, we have some data here. Block one and some others. We can go through to see whether we have some data on other place. Here we see other place that are all empty. The field all zero. This is nice. So we can analyze an uh, empty fat allocation table. Next class. Okay, this is what we covered today how to format uh, the partitions inside your image to different uh, file system. I just demonstrated with a fat tail. With this demonstration, you will know how to format to other file systems. For example, to EXT2, EXT3, EXT4, and so on. First, you need to mount into a partition. Just like I, here, I first mounted to uh, loop 18. After you did all your lab, you'd better remember, detach them. Detach. This D we uh, loop 18. Oops, I need a sudo. I need low setup. Sudo low setup detach. No setup detach. And uh, this place, I think I also need to so do no setup detach. My loop six, right? The we loop six. Oh, it's all the uh, detached, so I can use a list to have a look. So you see, uh, no image or partition is mounted. So that's it. Any uh, questions?